This is a presentation about project management. In this presentation, we will review two examples and assess rate of performance. We are in the control phase. During this phase, project managers monitor project outcomes. In order to monitor a project's pro progress, project managers often have to forecast estimated time to completion and budget at completion. These two measures tell us how efficiently the project is being run. Also, they allow the project to take corrective action as implementation continues, increasing the program's chance of success. A value called rate of performance will be needed to calculate estimated time to completion and budget at completion. When calculating plan durations, accuracy is is of the utmost importance. A technique called PERT takes into consideration the optimistic, realistic, and pessimistic durations for any given activity and then calculates a weighted average. This measure will be used in the following examples. The first example is listed here. The plan values have been recorded and the time needed to complete the first three tasks are also listed. The manager wants to know if the project will be completed on time. Rate of performance is the first step. To calculate the rate of performance, we need two values, the actual work time and the planned work time. Although nine weeks of work have technically been completed, we are only concerned with the critical path, listed in bold. Therefore, six weeks is the actual work time. The planned work time is three weeks. The rate of performance is a percent ratio of actual to planned work time. In this case, rate of performance is 200%. This is a Gantt chart of the project. Notice the critical path is in the bolded arrows. Also notice the green activities. These are the activities that have been fully completed. The gray boxes represent the plan duration. Notice that they occur much sooner on the timeline than the blue activities. The blue activities are the adjusted expected duration times. At the top, the yellow band shows the entire project. Although hard to see, it is about halfway filled in, depicting that the project is only 50% complete. To calculate the adjusted plan duration, we must consider the project's initial plan duration. As with the previous problem, we are only concerned with the critical path. The plan duration was 12 weeks. The rate of performance is 200%, therefore the project can be estimated to take twice as long to finish, or 24 weeks. The original budget is based on each task's planned estimate. The current estimate cannot be calculated, however, because of insufficient data. Although the completed duration has been reported for several activities, the respective actual values have not. However, we can assume that the project will be more expensive, considering that it is estimated to take longer than expected. In the second example, we have to estimate our own plan duration. This table shows the PERT calculations for the project. I estimated the total project duration by adding the PERT values for activities on the critical path. The estimated time is 48 months, or 4 years. PERT is calculated by taking the optimistic time plus 4 times the realistic time plus the pessimistic time, and that entire sum divided by 6. This is a Gantt chart for question 8. Although it is difficult to read, I will highlight the main characteristics. The green activities have already been completed. The gray boxes indicate the planned duration of each activity. These values were calculated using the PERT technique shown on the previous slide. The bolded arrows, arrows connecting specific activities show the critical path. For this example, I allowed Merlin to calculate the rate of performance for me. Merlin states that the project is about 24% complete. That means the rate of performance is about 70 or 75%. Therefore, the project should end earlier than planned. This was evident on the previous slide. The gray boxes depicting planned durations came after the blue boxes, which re represent the expected duration of activities. The overall planned duration was about 4 years or 48 months. Based on the rate of performance, the project is to be finished in about 44 months. Rate of performance is useful and necessary. Managers must always know where projects are on, the, on a timeline. 
If projects are moving too slowly, they must be able to tell their superiors the estimated delay as soon as possible. The rate of performance is about the same as the inverse of the percent of project completed. I found that Merlin can calculate the percent of project completed for me. Therefore, in the second example, I did not have to calculate rate of performance myself. This was very helpful. Additionally, Merlin can calculate the expected project completion date for me. This is also very efficient and useful. The take-home message is twofold. Rate of performance is vital to overseeing project completion and Merlin is an excellent investment.